I'm Rajul Pandya Loach. I'm Director for Communications and Public Affairs at IFPRI, and I'm very pleased to welcome all of you to this seminar on the forced exile of Rohingyas into Bangladesh, economic and nutritional outcomes and future policy options. In late 2017, more than 600,000 Rohingya people fled violence in Myanmar and entered Bangladesh, joining other people who had been forcibly displaced earlier. By early 2018, there were an estimated 800,000 to 1 million forcibly displaced Myanmar people residing in Bangladesh. This seminar will share initial results from a household survey conducted in camps housing Rohingya people and in neighboring host communities, and will discuss the potential effects of this population influx on the local economy and future policy options. I invite you to read the issue brief that has been prepared and accompanies this seminar on the Rohingya displacement, the Rohingya displacement, deprivation, and policy. It is outside as well as online and can also be accessed in many different platforms. That was released just a few days ago. We have a very strong and rich program here. And without further ado, I'd like to invite our first speaker, Paul Deroche. Paul is the director of the Development Strategy and Governance Division at IFPRI and he will provide an introduction and an overview. Thank you very much, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as Rajul has uh, explained uh, in the background, this uh, Rohingya crisis has been going on for nearly two years. That initial influx of roughly 600, 700,000 Rohingya refugees came across the border in October 2017, but there had been three earlier uh, influxes of Rohingyas into Bangladesh fleeing persecution in Myanmar. Uh, last year, IFPRI and the Bangladesh Institute of Development Studies, BIDS, began a study of the well-being and livelihoods of the Rohingya called the forcibly displaced Myanmar nationals. Not refugees because they're not officially recognized as refugees. So these FDMN for, uh, uh, are uh, a major part of our survey and our study. We also have interviewed in the, in the household surveys the host community. The host community, the Bangladeshis living in neighboring areas close to the camps. Uh, we're going to be presenting a lot of results from especially the household survey, and Professor John Hodnott will be uh, presenting that in just a few minutes. Uh, but that survey includes both the, the Myanmar uh, uh, nationals uh, as well as the host community households. And we've captured uh, in this survey three different waves of the, of the influx of the Myanmar nationals, uh, and this uh, most of that most of the sample is from this most recent wave of roughly one year ago, and and John will be uh, presenting uh, those results. Uh, let's see. I, I'd like to point out that this again the study team involves lots of researchers from the Bangladesh Institute of Development Studies as well as. From IFPRI, uh, we also John Hadnot is with Cornell University, uh, Mateusz Filipski from the University of Georgia, uh, and I especially like to uh, acknowledge that bin, Dr. Binayak Sen of BIDS was a major co-leader of the entire study. Uh, we and I just a, a quick thank you to the World Food Program and to the CGIAR. Uh, and, and policies institutes and management uh, uh, group that provided financial support. And part of our nutrition information was, was collected by Action Contre Femme. The, the survey inside the camp was done by them. And then finally, as you know, uh, policies related to migration and refugees are controversial. They're controversial throughout the world and in Bangladesh. This Rohingya situation, we've presented some of this, these results in Dhaka, and, and there's a lot of uh, 
let, let's just say varying opinions. And I'd just like to point out that the views that we're stating today and in these discussions and in the various papers, they reflect the, the outputs of the research and the views of the researchers, and not necessarily the donors or the official positions of, our, uh, of the institutions involved. Thank you.